Hi there, friends of Diamond C. One of the things that I love about what we do at Diamond C is that we get to be a part of people's journey as they grow and progress through life. Um, we strive to build extraordinary trailers, and through that effort, we create opportunities all around us for our team members and our customers and our community abroad uh, to grow and advance with us, to grow and advance with the organization. The purpose of today's video, this video, is to spotlight one of those stories, Mr. Obaldo Arona. Um, Abaldo, thank you for joining me for a few minutes to share your story. I think it's going to be a source of inspiration for a whole lot of people out there that are listening in. Um, so to start with, will you tell us a little bit about yourself, just in um, how did you first get started at Diamond C, how long have you been here, and what do you do? Uh, okay, so Valderona, like Jeffrey said, um, I am a robot technician slash programmer. Um, uh, I started working at Diamond C summer 2014, so I'm going on eight years now. You know, initially wow. started as a, a welder's helper, just mm -hmm. sweeping up around the shop, mm -hmm. helping where I could, doing what I could, and mm -hmm. uh, here we are. Yeah, for sure. Um, you definitely are our go-to guy for all robot programming and you know, I've watched you grow tremendously in that, um, really starting from scratch. Um, we got our first weld cell and, you know, it was, uh, who do we think around the shop might be good to be a programmer? And uh, I think it was Martin Vega says, Baldo's the guy. Right. And so right away you jump on that robot and uh, we're, we're got some training to begin with, but I know that... Uh, so much of your growth in that has been just from your personal ambition to learn it and figure it out. Um, so crazy cool story in that. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about the process of programming? Like when you know a new, a new part shows up in front of you and at a, at a robot, how do you go about building a program and optimizing it for operation, for production and extraordinary quality? Right, right. So obviously when we get a new part, uh, I always try to look at it, look at the dimensions, measurements, everything I need to do, you know, to optimize, like you said, the programming from the start. Um, obviously, we go through a lot of testing. So initially, I'll write the program, kind of a rough sketch of the program. Uh, we'll do what's called a lot of dry runs, uh -huh. kind of run it through without any welding or anything like that. Um, and from there, I work my way up, you know, what, what can work better? How can I make this, you know, be as efficient and fast without, op uh, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, optimized, efficient, optimized, fast, yeah, right. optimized, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, but obviously without compromising quality is what I want exactly. to say. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Right. That's kind of how I go about doing it. Yeah, and that's the tricky part, I think, of what you do is you have so many different, um, I'm gonna say customers, internal customers to make happy. Right. In the quality, the speed, the efficiency, the consistency, the fit up time, the load unload time from the from the weld fixtures, all those things that you're a part of optimizing. Right. It's a complicated job. <laughs> it can be, but you know, not impossible. Yeah, for sure. So where do you think your original interest or knack for learning um, this, this technology came from? Well, I've always been kind of intuitive. Uh, so, you know, kind of working through problems hasn't always been a big issue for me, mm -hmm. particularly in something like a robot. Uh -huh. um, just troubleshooting. Man, I really can't think of anything that would... Yeah, so you just have a knack for troubleshooting. Knack and troubleshooting, yeah. And figuring things out, really. Figuring things out. And that's so much of the programming optimization process is right. constantly testing and tuning and making it better and better, right? Uh, so that, that makes great sense. Um, so one of the things I hear that I have heard about you often over the years um, is that you're really great at, I'm going to say teamwork and collaboration. Um, as we're working through the, the complexities, as you're working through the complexities of, complexities of optimizing a program, optimizing a part, um, you're working with special fabricators, with production, with engineering, with all the different um, kind of stakeholders internally. And um, what would you say are kind of your keys to success in being a, being an effective collaborator and, and team player in that pursuit? So uh, part of my job, aside from programming, is uh, I do a lot of training with the operators, uh, how to do their job the best way they can based on my experience as an operator. Uh -huh. um, so obviously, if I don't do my best to train them, I mean, that can hinder their success. Absolutely. That, and uh, obviously, like you said, I'm having to work with a large number of people. So it's always good to maintain a positive attitude when doing Absolutely. so. Don't, don't be scared of other people's input. Yeah. Um, always check your ego, obviously. Yeah. You yeah. know, that can obviously <laughs> hinder your growth and sure. uh, your ability to do your job the best you can. Yeah. 
Man, I love that you're mentioning fundamentals. That's actually the next thing in my notes here that I wanted to ask you about. Um, as we were preparing for our time together today, we asked Denny, one of the leaders here, uh, what fundamental he thought best described you, what fundamental you exemplify most. And he said, find the way. Um, so find the way, you know the fundamental. It's, it's, it's all about being resourceful, showing initiative, collaborating, um, being courageous enough to figure out something new for the first time, um, being afraid, uh, courageous enough to consider unconventional methods and, and to build the road when you have to, to be the, the trailblazer. Right. Um, so my question for you is what do you think, from your perspective, what does it take to be a trailblazer, a wayfinder? Uh, so the fundamental says to be considerate of your actions and the broader impact that they may have to those around you. And just, yeah, you know, yeah. So I think that's key. I think that's key in a team or in any setting where a group of people have a common goal or a uh, common interest. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, if uh, someone's having on the, someone on the team is having trouble or they have a hurdle or something they can't get around, you know, that can hinder the success of the whole team. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's why it's important to... Uh, find a way yeah, yeah. Um, obviously don't ever be afraid to ask for someone's help for their for input sure. don't take criticism the wrong way you know because that can always really hinder your growth Absolutely. and uh, your ability to find a way yeah and I can personally attest to that as a programmer uh, you know if I don't do my job as a programmer to the best of the best of my ability then you know that can make it harder for an operator Absolutely. And, you know the overall yeah. success of that team Absolutely. Man, I, I love that answer um, so, so being careful to really be considerate of all of those kind of forces and impacts around you. Right. Um, as I've already kind of talked about in, in, in your job and what you do, um, as an example for everyone and all of our jobs, um, every move we make and every button we push, so to speak, has some kind of impact, right? Correct. Um, so that's, that's where we have to be really careful in our wayfinding to consider all that broad range of impact. And I love, I love your perspective on that. Um, check our ego at the door, right? Right. Um, to, to make sure that we're being careful to listen and learn and, and collaborate along the way. Um, that fundamental has been, it's one that I'm extremely passionate about in, um, it's, it's been a really critical part of Dom and C's story from the beginning in 1985. There were so many, have been so many things along the way, like, like this facility that we were figuring out for the first time and we had to be courageous enough to, to take a bit of a risk, right. to step out there, Absolutely. to discover something new um, as we, as we uh, move into the future and, and grow and advance together, for sure. So to wrap up, um, I just want to ask you what, what's next for you? Like what, what technology do you want to grow in from here and how do you want to build your career from here? Well, obviously, you know, I'm most interested in the robots. That's what I do yeah, every yeah. day, day in and day out. Yeah. Um, uh, so when I first started with that single arm robot, I got that robot down. Yeah. You know, I <laughs> thought I could do anything with it. And they got the dual arm robot, a more complex cell. And, you know, it just, it was like I started all over again. And even over here with these cells that we have now. Uh, so there's always more to learn. This is yeah. what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, uh, for sure. So obviously, if I can expand my knowledge on the robots, because there's so much that they can do that they're capable of doing that, you know, I still don't know how to do it. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, the more I know, I think it would be better for me. Awesome. So digging into what you are excited about, passionate about, learning, growing in that, um, sounds like fun to me. Yep, right? sure does. Awesome. So, Balo, thank you so much for um, just sharing some of your story, um, for the, the time that you've invested with the team here. Um, you, you definitely have been a difference maker in, in the journey for a lot of people at Diamond C over the years in uh, you know, the, the operators that you've, you've right. mentored and trained and, um, and in being willing to step in there and find a way when we were doing something brand new for the first time, being courageous enough to put yourself out there and step into those shoes of right. uh, you know, being brave enough to figure it out. So I appreciate um, all, the, all that you, the, the time and effort that you've invested with Absolutely. the team. Yes, sir. Thank you.